Hi, I'm Dr Pippa Watson. I'll be demonstrating elbow examination. Going to inspect first uh, by looking from the front, uh, just at the normal carrying angle of the patient. And then going to move sideways. And here I'm just looking to see whether the patient's able to fully extend the elbow. If not, it's useful to quantify the deformity as mild, moderate or severe. I'm now going to inspect the posterior aspect of the elbow for any abnormalities. So we're looking particularly here for any scars, any visible swelling or deformity. And you can look on both the lateral uh, and the medial aspects. You may also see other things on the back of the elbow, uh, such as rheumatoid nodules. You may see a swelling over the olecranon and olecranon bursitis, or you may also see psoriatic plaques. Temperature is assessed uh, by feeling with the back of your hand, above the joint, over the joint and below. And then I'm going to palpate the structures around the back. So again, palpating over the olecranon, uh, which might be tender if someone has olecranon bursitis, uh, and then over the medial epicondyle, which might be tender if the patient has medial epicondylitis or golfer's elbow. Finally, I'm going to palpate over the lateral epicondyle. This might be tender if the patient has lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. So next, uh, we're going to test movements. Full flexion and full extension should be assessed actively along with pronation and supination. Thank you. And then I'm just going to test those movements again uh, passively. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to hold the joint to see if there's any crepitus. So if you just let your arm relax. Thank you. You can palpate the radial head while you're doing this pronation supination movement. So we're just going to finish by testing function and a useful way to do that is just to ask the patient uh, to perform a relevant task such as putting their hand on their mouth. Are you able to do that?